The National Weather Service confirming today a tornado did touch down near Toma this afternoon. News 19's Bone Kedrovich drove out to the town of Wyville to see how residents there are holding up. And Bowen, you got a chance to see it firsthand. Yeah, Dustin, I have personally never seen a storm like this and the kind of damage it can do to a community. On I-94, at least three 18-wheelers were flipped on their side from the wind. In Wyville, power lines are down, laying on the streets, trees falling onto the roads and houses, leaving people with plenty of cleanup and moments they won't soon forget. We were sitting in our living room and walking back and forth between the living room and the kitchen. You could literally just hear the wind whipping. It was coming in sheets against the glass. It was crazy loud. I went to a nearby farm affected by the storm and one of their sheds was completely destroyed. Thankfully, none of their livestock were killed or harmed. At the farm, I spoke with the storm tracker from our affiliate, the Weather Channel, who urges folks to take tornado warnings seriously and act right away. We just really try to encourage people as soon as they get the warning, go to their safe spot. Yeah, I realize that it, something may not happen, but 15, 30 minutes out of your day to be safe, that's the much better way to do it. Peak recommends that a safe spot should have many walls between you and the outside environment. Also staying on the lowest floor of your building, away from windows to avoid shattered glass. And Dustin, Peak recommends that if you find yourself in a car during a, a tornado, to leave the car on as this allows the airbags to still be functional and lower yourself to get beneath the windows. That's some good tips there as a number of folks were stuck on the interstate during that storm today. Thank you, Bowen, for your reporting there.